In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to work and record actions. So hi guys, welcome back to a new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny, you can find me on our Facebook page at Retype Pro. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to work and how to record your Photoshop actions. So let's get into it. Okay, as you guys can see, I'm already in Photoshop and first of all, what I want to do is now do a dodge and burn process. So basically meaning I want to create two new layers from scratch with a 50% gray content and then also create a group out of that. So let me do that quickly. First of all, I'm going to go down here to the new layer icon as well rename this to soft. Then as well going to fill this now with the marking tool, just select it here from the left hand side. Going to fill this up this canvas, right click and say fill here with 50% content area. Okay, Command D, get out of the selection and as well I'm going to switch the blending option still to soft light over here and that's my first step. Second, Command J, duplicate that and rename this to hard as well. Now as well I need to set this blending option all the way to overlay. Now select both layers with shift again and press Command G, create a new group and right here again D and B. So again I can do this really quickly during the day because I'm quite quick at it now already but it's also a little bit of time consuming and it's a little bit of irritating as well so you can either do it this way or you can also use actions which are a little bit quicker so normally you can just go up here to your actions select the actions select dodge and burn as well and hit the play button here at the bottom which basically means it's going to run an action script now I'm just going to delete this dodge and burn group over here select the dodge and burn again and press play and directly you guys can see I'm getting here a nice group here with two different layers from dodge and burn so again it's just a quicker workflow it speeds up my Photoshop process as well and I want to show you guys how to do this very simple actually first of all you need to go to the window up here at the top select actions because now at the moment mine action is selected the palette I'm going to go back to window again and select actions once more again so as you guys can see here's my action palette now so in here I've got a few actions as well as you can see the default actions and pro actions from our retailpro.com library. Okay, so again at the top under this little arrow here, if you select that you've got a button mode. So you can also select it via a button mode. So if you see the dodge and burn here, you can just hit it and directly you get a complete new dodge and burn process here. I'm going to delete all of that, press it again. You guys can see it again over here. So it does speed up your Photoshop workflow a little bit. So you can either use it as buttons or you can also just choose it like this where you have folders and as well your little tasks there. Okay, so I want to show you guys also how to record this very quickly. It's very simple as well so you can create your own little actions at home and you can also use them when you do certain, say for instance if you do a frequency separation or if you do guides or if you want to do this gray layer system with a dodge and burn as well, you can use the action script as well. So literally you just have to go down here and select a new group first of all. So again you're going to select a new set of actions. You can maybe name this to, I don't know, whatever you want to. I'm going to say Retard Pro over here and I'm going to set this to Retard Pro 2 maybe. So literally just like that, Retard Pro 2. Okay, so directly we have a set and in here you can add some new actions in now. So simply go down here and select the new layer icon. Then as well, you can now obviously rename that certain action script to a certain action that you're going to do. I'm going to repeat the dodge and burn process for you guys, but you can also apply this to adjustment layer or any tools or options that you're going to use here from the top. So I'm going to literally just write here again, dodge and burn, and we're going to repeat the whole process once more. So first of all, under the set here, you can also choose now which main folder or group you want to choose. I'm going to use Retail Pro 2 again. You can also put a function key to that, so if, say for instance if you want to press command and 3 together, this action will run. So I'm not going to put anything to it now, but you can do that. And as well you can also give it a color over here. So I'm basically going to choose a red color, which will mean that this will give you a red color on the complete group and layer that you have in your layers palette. Okay, so once I hit record now, it's not going to just record and it's like a time recording where you have a certain time limit. You can literally take 10 hours and record your action very slowly. Okay, so I'm going to hit record. Over here you will see it started and down here it's a, like a little red button which means that the recording has started. So now I can slowly do my whole process. So I found out that when you do your adjustment layers from here at the bottom, 
and also from here from the adjustment tab they don't work so nicely so what I usually do is go up here to layer or image and then adjustments here or sometimes new adjustment layers over here and work with these adjustments they always work so I would recommend you guys using this okay I'm gonna go back to layer new layer over here again and first of all we're gonna create now obviously the soft gray layer so again first of all soft here I'm gonna write soft okay and then as well you can also choose clipping masks down here right away but I'm not gonna do that for now color as well I'm not gonna choose a red color again because we already chose a red color here under the actions then as well the mode you can obviously set your blending options here so I'm gonna set it all the way to soft light and say fill this up with again light neutral color so basically 50% gray and this option is only available now because I've obviously set this to a different blending option so if you set a different blending option it's not gonna work so set it to soft light again tick this box here's your opacity as well keep it to 100 okay and directly we have a new layer here as you guys can see with 50% gray under the soft light blending option and 100% opacity let's continue and just go to layer new layer and just repeat this process again now we're going to use it for the hard layer as well no clipping mask no color blending option should be overlay 50 or basically 100% opacity and then again fill with overlay so basically 50% gray hit OK and directly we have again our soft and hard layer now I'm gonna hold shift or before I actually do that have a look here under the action you can directly see that this has been recorded already I'm gonna hold shift now select soft as well so this has also been recorded that you're going to select both layers I'm gonna go back to this little arrow over here and just say new group from this layer okay and basically now I can put a new name in here I can again say maybe D and B just for dodge and burn process again if you want you can set a red color for this pass through yes and opacity 100 gonna hit OK and there we go we have directly our new group here so great so now you've already finished your whole step that you wanted to do and this is one single adjustment here just for a certain action so you can just use that as well if you want you can also be a little bit creative if you create some actions for other people you can go back here to the top to select a little arrow and you can set this to insert a stop so basically this means it's going to give you a warning right away now which says just thank you or something for using my action you can find more actions at this and this yada yada so I'm just gonna say thank you over here and also say allow continue and okay so this basically means you've recorded the stop as well now so I think everything is done I've done my whole action I can simply now hit stop down here which basically means my action is done and I'm finished uh, recording the whole action so I can minimize this again I can also delete this whole group now and have a look once I click on this and hit the play button it's going to create directly this action for me and it's going to put here a stop notice saying thank you stop or continue I'm just going to hit continue and that's it so basically very quickly created a super easy action and you can basically do the same just go and create some groups here hit record and then do it step by step yeah so working and recording with Photoshop actions is literally not that complicated guys and once you got the hang of it you will see that your Photoshop workflow will double the speed and gets way way quicker so yeah thanks again for watching guys if you like this video thumbs up share it with all your friends that can benefit from this video yeah that's basically all thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye bye